Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the Golden Dragon 66, back for another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Slash. I was about to say Scourge. That's not a Transformer, um, Dinobot. <laughs> but this figure is amazing. Completely amazing. It's got some problems, though. It's giant Slash down his body, which apparently is how he got his name. I'm kidding. But it's also got a peg hole right there. In the comments below, discuss what that could be. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But, um, really, really amazing figure. It's better painted than his, uh, previous version for the, uh, Age of Extinction toy line. I was thinking of the word. Um, well, every Transformer in that one looked terrible. <laughs> It was the it was Hasbro's first time though, but um this figure looks completely accurate to the movie. I'm kidding, he's not in the movie, just like the other one, which makes me mad. But um looks completely accurate to like the posters and stuff seen on wikis and stuff. Really amazing looking figure. It's got those uh second toes, which second toes right there, and right there for a raptor. This is the third toe, or the first toe? Ugh, I can't stand what people do that. But, um, yeah, his mouth opens to incredibly stupid proportions. Or degrees. I don't know. I don't know. I just woke up. And then he's got a bit of possibility. He's got a ball joint here, and 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 a swivel here, and then a actual ankle pivot here, and then his knee goes, well, this part of his leg goes, uh, bends at an almost... At a little more than a 90 degree angle. And then this one bends forward like that. Just because of the transformation. It's fucking like kick someone. And punch them at the same time. And yeah that's about it for possibility. His neck goes up and down. His head can open as you saw. But I mean. Kind of wish there was like a joint here. That would be cool. But of course you have the axe. So there's not much they could. Ezra could do. <laughs> Dang it, this entire place is uneven. I'm trying to fix that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. But, let's get into the transformation. And here you have him in his robot mode. Now, his robot mode is quite smaller than his raptor mode. And then you have these little axes left over that you can just go. And just peg them into like these two millimeter wide holes. 
but yes. Pretty good figure. I mean, he's got the same posability here. Knee joint, swivel here, and then ball joint, and then ball joint, and swivel, and then knee bend, then ball joint, swivel here, arms bend backwards more than they do forwards, which is completely nonsensical. Same thing on this side, bends backwards more than it does forward, ball joint. And that's about it for the posability. Now his arms can turn, but, I mean, his hands will always be perpetually in the same position. Just imagine Mad World playing. <laughs> but, yes, this figure does retail for a whopping 20 bucks. Or 12 bucks. I don't know. I don't remember how much it was. It's between 12 and 20 dollars. But, a really, really good figure. And, time for some size comparisons. Okay, get all the Transformers I actually currently have. Ugh, here's some next two. Biggest figure I have. Nightwatch... Oh god, he got knocked over. Nightwatch Optimus Prime with Megatron arm. And then next to a Titans. A uh, Titans Return figure. This is Hardhead. Pose that guy. And then. Slash there. Almost the same size. Has a tiny bit larger. And another Titans figure, just to show what everyone wants to see. Got this one. Scourge. But yes, get these two. But yes, still this figure is my favorite figure that I currently own. And, yeah, but Twin Inferno's coming up close. And then, um, like, through all the gripes and stuff I have about it, with this not pegging into this hole here, and it being small, it's still a really good figure, and you can still see that peg hole right there. Or stand hole, or whatever. And then these are shoulders. But, yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace, Dragonets. Stay awesome.